asking you guys, remember to check out these awesome t-shirts. Speed is my religion, made by me, with my own hands on speedcompare.com slash shop and you'll be able to get a t-shirt there. Isn't that great? The world is amazing. Now, on to this car. Still checking in the place, still go. Moving in the way, no place, no snow. Straight chilling with my niggas and shiver. Thinking about South Lake Dos on the river. This is the Aleman tuned AP400 Seat Leon Cupra. And Aleman uses an old family recipe that was passed down through the millennia on how to tune their cars. But recently, they've updated their ways and come into the 21st century. They now use an app. That's actually really cool because this car has the app on it. So, I'm going to open the app now. If we go to performance, then we have the different modes. We have eco mode, which is a mode that's used when you want to save fuel. Sport mode is when you're feeling a bit raunchy. And race mode is when you put hair removal cream on your scrotum by accident and have a meeting to catch in 10 minutes. You can tune this car to be whatever you want. Faster throttle response, done. You need better sound, done. You need a prostate exam and a shirt iron, done. This machine with 400 horsepower on the front wheels is a badass thing to have. And it's the ultimate dad wagon. I mean, look at it. As you can see, I'm on the inside right now and it feels exactly like driving a Volkswagen. It's a Volkswagen, except a bit longer. It, it feels the same like Volkswagen, but it's like the Spanish have come inside and they have taken over everything. Hans Biergarten, and they've changed the schnitzel to paella. Uh, welcome to Hans Biergarten. Uh, would you like some paella with your uh, cerveza, senor? Uh, okay. You're not interested in that though. You want to know how this thing drives. And uh, to be honest, I don't think these wheels even know what traction looks like. I don't think they've even ever seen traction. Look at this. Traction control, third gear traction control, fourth gear traction control. Dear diary, day 700, still no traction in sight. But that's exactly what makes this so fun. When you have constant grip, you never feel this close to dying. Let's see if we have better traction if I switch traction control off. Here we go, here we go. It's not helping. It's not doing anything. That's third gear. Nothing. 80 kilometers an hour, no traction still. It's just, it's incredible. But uh, with 400 horsepower on the front wheels, that's what you can expect. <laughs> Okay, the handling. We are coming up to some twisty roads now and uh, let's see how the wheel spin machine handles. So uh, let's go here and let's put it in Cupra mode. That tightens up the suspension and uh, opens some exhaust valves and also makes a differential kind of work a bit, sort of, maybe. But anyway, here we go. Into the corner and there's grip in the corner and power out. Wheel spin, wheel spin, wheel spin. There's no grip. This car is, would be great at handling if it was all wheel drive maybe, um, but it's not. And so the big problem with this thing is wheel spin. It has great cornering abilities. I'm not going to go crazy now in the rain obviously because I don't want to fall off the mountain and have to pay the full price of the Seat Leon Cupra, but out the corner, wheel spin, wheel spin, wheel spin. Traction control came on there up until 80 kilometers an hour. It's, it's just insane. Well, okay, that was with traction control on. Now let's try doing it with traction control off. So what you have to do is pull over here, and then you, when you press traction control once, it says ESC Sport is off. That means traction control is still on and it'll help you out, kind of. But if you're a rally driver like me and you have 50 years of experience, then uh, you can feel confident in switching it off completely. You take your finger and you press the button until it goes bing. And then it'll say uh, ESC off, not ESC sport, it'll just say ESC off. And now it is deactivated completely. And now, when I turn around, let's give it another go. 
Right, let's go up the mountain again uh, with traction control completely off in a 400 horsepower front wheel drive car. Am I crazy? Yes. Am I entertaining? Maybe. Here we go. Oh wow, damn it. Holy Jesus. Sweet balls of fire. Okay, so we're going around the corner obviously. Not doing too fast in the corner because I would just go straight because it's front wheel drive, understeer, crazy, boom, dead, pay the car. Uh, here we go, straight away. Okay, there's no grip whatsoever. Nothing. Grip has never existed. It's as if this car has never heard of the term grip. Here we go, straight away. Nothing. Third gear. Dude, third gear goes up to 140. And it's just spin, 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 spin. So, corner again. I don't want to go too fast in the corners, obviously. Coming up to the top of the mountain now, where I'm going to go down the hill and see what the grip is like going downhill. Right, so we've kind of reached the cusp. Here we go. On the way down, around the corner. Third gear downhill doesn't even have grip. It's like a furious weasel that's just been given a heroin injection. Like that, it's crazy. Sorry, nearly drove into a guy on a motorcycle. I have to pull over. I just have to tell you guys, please, if you're going to get this car, get it with the all-wheel drive. Because the front-wheel drive, you can race people, you'll have more power than them. On paper, you would win every time, but you won't. Because you'll never have grip. Because this car doesn't know what the term means. Ah, it's fun though. I'm not gonna lie, it's fun. Sorry, you wanna come in here? Mr. Man. The inside is roomy, and there's even enough space for two fat people. <laughs> this car is great performance for the money, and should definitely be considered as your next performance car.